Welcome to Professor P's STEM Lab at the Houston Public Library, and I'm Professor P. Living in Houston, we don't get to see snow very much. And right now, with how it's hot, I feel like we could use a break from the heat. That's why today we're going to learn how to make our very own snow. Except instead of being made with water, we're going to make it with some common ingredients you can find around your house. We're even going to build something with the snow to create a winter scene right here in the middle of Houston, Texas summer. First, let's start with our materials. We're going to need the following. A plastic container, a half cup of hair conditioner, three cups of baking soda, and a fork. All right, let's get started. First, we're going to pour our conditioner into the mixing container, like this. Now, we're going to put it in the bowl. And now we're going to add our baking soda on top. So that's one cup. That's two cups. And one more cup. And our final cup. Now we're going to now we're going to take a fork and we're going to stir this real good. You want to kind of stir it really, really good. Now, all right, now it's snow. It even looks like the fluffy stuff you see in December. Ooh, it's cool to the touch. If you keep it in the freezer, it'll stay nice and cool just like real snow. So now that we have all of this snow, what are we going to do with it? Hmm, let's see. I know. Let's make a snowman. Make three balls just like these and stack them up. If you want, you can add nose using orange paper, make arms out of popsicle sticks, and stick on some googly eyes to really dress up your snowman. Wasn't that fun? We made something sort of like snow right here in Houston. We even built a snowman. How does it work? Well, the baking soda is very absorbent, which means it can hold a lot of liquid inside of it. That's why it's so good at keeping your fridge smelling clean. When you mix with the conditioner, it soaks up all the conditioner and makes a mushy snow-like substance. But Professor P, why does it feel cold? I'm glad you asked. The baking soda and conditioner aren't very cold. Well, the reason it feels cold is because the water from the conditioner is evaporating quickly, which makes it feel cooler than the surrounding air. Thanks so much for joining me. Professor P for the Houston Public Library STEM video series. We can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.